Hi guys, Rob 46 here. Welcome yourselves back to mode GP22 on the Xbox Series X. Let's continue with career mode. We've got three races to go, but next we are going to Phillip Island, a track that I really enjoy apart from Turn 10. But yeah, really good track. I do like Phillip Island. Let's head over. And it's going to be... Is, oh no, it's only FP4. That is raining. The rest of it is dry. Excellent, let's go. Okay, so... I decided, I got in the Q2, but I've decided not to actually put in a lap. So we're going to be starting in 12th place. We'll see how we go from there. Mar Marquez is on pole. Quattro is second. Look how close the times are between the top three. But yeah, I've not set a lap. So we're going to be starting from 12th to see how we go. Okay, so race time. We're starting in 12th. I'm not going for a soft front. I can get in the bin. It won't last. We'll go medium front, medium rear. Let's do it. Marquez has gone for a hard rear tire. That's a good shout, actually. Not going to use R... No, actually, I'm going to risk RHD. Trouble is, we haven't got... Heavy enough. Oh, we did deactivate it. That's okay. Oh! Sorry. We hit pole then into the back of him because he was going very, very slow through that corner. And now they're going slow on the exit of this corner and we're into the lead. That's the trouble. I don't know why they're so slow through the first lap. Whoops. Nearly lost the front then. Wow, it's already over one second. So we started 12th. We didn't... I mean, it was an okay start. Then we hit the back of pole. And then we got into the lead. Right, turn 10. The dreaded turn 10. Oh, Jack Miller's just crashed. Jack Miller is down. I mean, the, the Aprilia feels good around here. I mean, it does help that I really like this circuit. Stoner Corner is just such an awesome corner when you get it right. And we've got the hairpin right as well. But yeah, there isn't really anywhere around here where you can use the, the rear ride height device effectively. Down we go. Okay. We nearly got a four second lead. Didn't realise that. Okay, end of lap two. Oh, there we go. In a little bit too hot into uh, turn one. I really didn't have that. Lost us quite a bit of time. If you make a V out of that hairpin, it's you get a better run out. Okay. 
just got to make sure we don't lose the front or lose it into turn 10, which we're coming up to. Three completed. Obviously, that wasn't a great lap from me because we messed up turn one. Yeah, SBK22's AI cannot be like this. And the fact that it's only one class as well, there's no excuse for them to be as slow as they are on MotoGP. I know it's still using the ANA system, but they really need to make sure they are competitive and competent. Fingers crossed they will be, but you never know. Right, we're on lap five. And around and around and around and around. A little bit wide, but cut it back. The tire on the left hand side is definitely wearing out quite a lot now. So we are losing grip on the left. Marquez still in second. I wonder if his hard tire is going to start coming into it now. I mean, it should do. We've just got to go careful on the brakes into the lefts. So more. More chance of us losing the front as well. Oh, someone's gone down. Don't know who. Two laps to go. Five second lead. Quite happy just to make sure we get through turn one okay by breaking a bit earlier. Okay, 5.4 second lead. I don't think, well, there's definitely not enough time for Mark to catch me now. Oh, that's wide, that's wide. Oh, nearly on the grass. One lap to go. Again, this is another track where you can't really use power mapping three 
very much at all, otherwise you are going to run out of um, fuel. This is the final lap. We've still got the um, fast lap of the race. Oh. Yeah, Mark's um, hard tyre. Well, that was good enough for second place. He's not going to be catching me anytime soon. Yeah, we shouldn't be able to start in 12 and get into the lead on the exit of turn one and then just pull away friend of mine as you saw we did hit the back of Polar Spargo so that would have slowed us down alright there we go. Done. Done, done, done. And we made some mistakes as well, but still won by 4.8 seconds. We had the fast slap, 26.4. Championship. Fine. We, we know that's already wrapped up anyway, but that's a massive gap. Close that into 20 points, but again... It's, it's still don't think it's gonna be it's still mathematically possible, but I don't think it is going to be possible. We'll see. Okay, Park Fermi, top step of the podium as always. Well not as always, but a lot of the time this season. Yeah, that was uh definitely too easy. Especially starting twelfth on the grid. But yeah, their, their initial starts are better. It's just the rest of the first lap and the second lap and the third lap and a lot of the race, they just seem to be slow. Maybe in the next update, maybe. Okay, two races to go. Two races to go. Spray your champers with your gloves still on. Okay. Right. Sepang so is next. Five laps. All dry for us. Rain in FP1, wet track FP2, but the rest of it is dry. Let's go. Okay, I've done the same thing uh, because I was fastest overall. So didn't do a lap in qualifying. So we'll start in 12th again and see how we go. Right, here we go then. So 51 degrees, hard front, hard rear. Hard front, hard rear. Let's do it. Boy Martin and Bassini have gone for medium rears. I think Zarko and Miller have gone for softs. Okay. 12th place. Here we go. That was not a good start by me. Wasn't a good start by Rins either by the looks of it. All very, very early on the brakes for turn one. Even myself was uh, quite early. The Beast leads. Miller in second. They're on softs, don't forget. And we've just gone around the outside of them. <laughs> what I will do in the final race at Valencia, we will just start from the back. I'll probably do free practice one. No, we'll do free practice four because that doesn't count towards um, qualifying. So I'll do free practice four just so that I can do some laps or even just some morning warm up.
Okay, we've got a 1.1 second lead at the moment. Again, we didn't get, you know, a good start to the race. We, um, yeah, didn't get the best of launches, neither did Rins. Don't know where Rins ended up, but he went backwards. I somehow went forwards. Here we go. They're a lot closer now. Okay, so they, they did bring it down to half a second. That sector three is the one that always stings us the most. So we didn't get any contact through um, one of those corners. Second to last corner, that's where we sometimes have contact because I take a wider line. And the AI takes such a tight line through there that I end up colliding. Stopping. And let's see what our gap comes down to in this sector, this lap. So 1.2 at the moment. It's down to one second now. Okay, came down a tiny bit that time. I was a little bit better through that corner, to be fair. That closed up a bit through the final corner. Onto lap three. It's not telling us the fastest laps, though. My time just went red because we were, of course, first across the line. I'm pretty sure the guys behind would have been a little bit quicker. I think they're going to put an attack on me on this lap. I've got a feeling. I have a feeling they are going to attack. Mainly because I think, well, they are definitely going quicker than I am. Yeah, we're going to be attacked this lap. He's within striking distance, is Bastiani. Doors open a little bit, I'm not going to try and close it. Okay, that was not bad. That's my personal best lap of the race. That's not stopping.
Okay. So, he was close enough to attack, but didn't quite manage to make it through. This is going to be the lap then, isn't it? This is going to be the lap where he comes through. Sure of it. Oh, someone's just gone down. Quateraro's just crashed. So's Mir. Here we go. It's more defensive line from me then. It's not. No, 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 no. Okay, we're still going to lead over the line. And again, was my fastest lap of the race so far. This is a final lap. We're messing up the final corner and the first corner. Still hit some sort of weird apex there at turn one. Right there, that's going to compromise this line as well. No. That was it. That was the move. Now he's got me. Finally we've been beaten. <laughs> Let's do a second place. Alright. Well done Bastianini. We just got me at, at that corner where I knew it was going to happen as well. Never mind. So Quattro the only DNF. Okay. So Jorge Martin moves back up to second place. And uh, yeah, 25 points. It's not going to be possible. Uh, 33 point lead. That's, that's done. That is done. Podium again. But this time. Second place. We nearly, nearly had it. But um, yeah. Just messed up a little bit. All right, job done. One race to go. Right, let's advance the week. So Valencia will be the final race. Let's look at the standings for all three categories, starting with Moto3. It is Joan Mazia who leads the way. He's 
taking the lead off of Fodger, who's now 15 points behind in second. Dennis Onchu is third, Garcia fourth, and John McPhee's up to fifth. Matu two, Canet still leads away. He's nearly done it. He just needs two points in the final race of the uh, season to wrap it up with Lowe's in second. Arbolino third, Jorge Navarro fourth, and Chandra has moved up to fifth. And Matu GP, it is myself who obviously got a massive lead over Jorge Martino in second. Uh, Bang Yaya has moved up to third. Quattro with the non-score at Sepang drops two positions to fourth. Miller in fifth. But anyway, guys, that is it from me. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to leave this video a like if you enjoyed it. Subscribe to the channel for more content. I shall see you guys in the next video. Don't forget to stay safe, watch, and look after yourself. See you guys next time. See you!